Kalei from Malawi. It's our fourth day here and I'm very excited because we're on our way to visit a school that has a special relationship with a school back in New Zealand. I'm heading down this road, I may not know which way to go, but that's okay. Hey guys, I'm Jess, this is James and this is Finn and we go to St Kent's College in Auckland. Our school has a close friendship with Chigodi Secondary School in Malawi. Our goal is to send $100,000 each year for the next five years. Most of that will be raised by us students doing the 40 hour famine. The money we raise will be spent on things like stationery, toilet blocks and sports equipment. Last year, we raised enough money to buy 125 goats. This may sound like a strange thing to buy for a school, but the families really do need them. We also sent over 400 school uniforms that were no longer needed. It was really cool because they even took photos of them trying on these uniforms. One of the photos included them lying on the ground spelling out the words thank you. And here we are, we've made it halfway across the world and this is Chigodi Secondary School. Today was so much fun and for St Kent's and everyone who does the 40 hour famine it's so important that you know you have this connection with people on the other side of the world. It's awesome. I'm here with Skola and Kari Ken. They're proudly wearing their St Kent's jackets and they go to school here. Now is it very different from New Zealand? Like what subjects do you do? We do physical science, biology, agriculture, social and development studies, life skills, mathematics, English, Chichewa and VK, Bible knowledge. All oh, right, there's a lot of subjects. Do you have a favorite out of all of those? Geography. Geography. So you guys are here, and then we are here. What are your dreams for the future? Will you go to university or? Teaching. You want to be a teacher? Mm. Very cool, teach geography? Yes. Yeah, awesome, what about you? I want to go to university and study in, I want to be a nurse. A nurse? Yeah. Very cool. No education, no life. Go to school so in Malawi you have two languages, right? Yes. English? Because you speak great English. And then Chichewa? Yes. Okay, well I'm going to add one more. Okay, so this is called Māori, okay, it comes from New Zealand. So, you guys have Moni, which means hello. We have Kia ora. How do we say it? Kia ora. Kia ora. Yay. It was interesting being in that classroom and seeing how basic the facilities are. And like I remember being at high school and complaining when the calf ran out of coke. And these guys don't complain, they're really eager to be there, they're grateful for all they have and they work really hard and I think that's really inspiring. So Adam, who um, is back in New Zealand right now, he does his favourite move called the sprinkler. Can you guys do the sprinkler? <laughs> Someone will give it a go with me, come on, come on. Hey! <laughs> Ready? Yeah, like this. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Woo! That was really good! <laughs> I'm pretty sure they think that everybody in New Zealand is just a terrible, terrible dancer. I gave, I gave us Kiwis a really bad name, sorry about that. But it was really funny to see them do the sprinkler dance because they are so much better than Adam. Just coordinated, like, just... This made it cool somehow. Okay, I've got one more word for you in Māori from New Zealand. It's koha, which means gift. Do you guys like soccer, football? Yes. Okay, great. This has got all the flags of the world on it, except we didn't have New Zealand, so we just changed Australia a little bit. That is for the cricket. Um, but before we play with this, I've got a message for you guys. I'll just go get it ready, okay? Hey guys, kia ora, Moni from New Zealand and from St. Kent's. <laughs> Everyone in our school really enjoys the connection of friendship we have with your school. And now we have some exciting news. We, that's me and these guys, are coming to see you guys in the June-July holidays. Woo! 
they spelt out Moni like you guys spelt out thank you. They obviously liked your idea. <laughs> that was amazing. There's a break dance circle just kind of impromptu happening over here. If you're coming over from St. Kent, you better work on your dance moves. I don't think this, I don't think that's gonna cut it here. When you're raising money for the 40R famine, you might just feel like it's 20 bucks. You know, you, you might have just got two bucks here, five dollars here and there. But when you add it all together, like the students at St Kent's have done, and you give it to a school like that, the changes are enormous. And we can do the same thing for people in Bangladesh this year. <laughs> And subscribe, click, click the subscribe button. No, oh, Eva, you even pushing. No. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're gonna be here the whole time. Oh,